Welcome back. Hope you're having a good morning. Well, uh, our research team is standing by with CNBC TV 18's top stocks for the day. Sonia, you go first. Tell us uh, about the auto sales numbers. So there were three numbers that came in post-market as yesterday. There was Ashok Leyland, Hero Motor Corp and TVS Motor. And it's a mixed bag this time around. Uh, so let me start with Ashok Leyland because the numbers have been quite weak over there in the month of March. Uh, in fact, the entire CV space has been under pressure. So yesterday you saw Aisha Motors numbers as well that were uh, quite weak on the CV side. Ashok Leyland, total sales down 4% and medium and heavy commercial vehicles down almost 7%. If you look at even the two-wheeler space, right, Hero Motor Corp was not impressive either. The total sales for Hero Motor Corp is down 5.6% year on year, coming in at 4.9 lakh units versus a little over uh, 5.1 lakh that they did same time last year. So I'm going with red over there. But the number that I really liked was TVS Motor because it's once again a double-digit growth that TVS Motor has seen. 12% growth is what they've clocked in. Motorcycle growth is very strong, up 22%. Scooter sales are up about 2 odd percent or so. Exports have picked up, which is a good thing. You've noticed that with Bajaj Auto as well. Uh, so I'm going with green for TVS Motor, while for Hero and Ashok Leyland, I'm going with red. But Reliance Industries is also in focus. Rima is joining in to tell us why you should be watching that one. Rima Morning. Thanks so much for that. So TRAI, the Telecom Regulatory Authority of India, has released the January subscriber numbers for the industry and even for the operators. And here Reliance's Geo stands out because it's the 22nd month where Reliance Geo subscriber edition tops that of its peers. So in the month of January, Reliance Industries, or that's Reliance Geo, has added about 42 lakh subscribers, which compares with 7.5 lakh subscriber editions for Bharti Airtel, while Vodafone Idea continues to lose subscribers. In the month of January, Vodafone Idea lost nearly 15 lakh subscribers. But separately, just keep your eye on Vodafone Idea. Yesterday's stock was excited, and today is that EGM where they will consider, uh, where the shareholders will give their nod for uh, the fundraise of 20,000 crore rupees that the company wants. Back to you. Okay, all right, Rima, thanks a lot uh, for that. Well, I'm looking at NMDC, and yesterday the stock had a big run. But that was more on the back of the Chinese uh, data and the participation in the big uh, metals rally that we saw yesterday. But otherwise, I know prices have been weakish and they affected their first uh, you know, cut in the last month itself, just a week or so ago. Now, the update came in, the operational update, and they were quite weak. Production is down by close to around 13% and the sales as well were down by close to around 18%, so 13 and 18% lower on a year-on-year -year basis. The problem was with Karnataka. Uh, they had exhausted their limits out there in the month of February itself. So that's why for the month of March, it was much, much lower. So the drag came in because of Karnataka. And that's the reason why those numbers are disappointing. Though for the past year, things looked good. For FI24, well, they have uh, grown by close to 11% on production. And sales volumes as well up by close to 16%. So the operational update is a little bit weak. So could, the stock could pull back a little bit today. Oh. But talking about operational updates, well, Abhishek's uh, with us to tell us about uh, CSB Bank, South Indian Bank, as well as Irda. Morning, Abhishek. Morning, Nigel. So, CSB Bank, the quarter quarter business momentum is pretty strong. Uh, if you take a look, the deposits are up 8.7% quarter quarter. Even the CASA in absolute value has grown by 7.2% quarter quarter. The gross advances are up 17.9% YOY and about 7.5% quarter quarter. In this... <coughs> The gold loan has actually grown by 9% quarter on quarter, so strong growth in gold loan seen over year. However, the CD ratio has dipped both YOY and quarter on quarter, so you need to see how the net interest margin will pan out in this quarter. South Indian Bank, the CASA ratio has improved on a sequential basis, which is a rare sign to see, and CD ratio has improved both YOY and quarter on quarter. Deposits are up 11.2% YOY and about 2.8% quarter on quarter. CASA ratio is at 32.04% versus 31.5%. 8% in the previous quarter. Uh, the gross advances are up 11.5% YOY and about 3.4% sequentially. And the CD ratio uh, at 78.8% compares to 78.7% in the same quarter last year and about 78.35% in the previous quarter. In terms of ADA, the tenure of the loan book has actually increased, which has caused a sharp jump in the loan growth momentum sequentially. So if you take a look, sanctions for Q4 are up 102% YOY disbursement Versus are up 14% YOY, but the loan book has grown by 26.7% YOY and about 17.9% sequentially. So calculation shows that, uh, you know, disbursals to AUM ratio is north of 70%, which is higher than that of an HFC. So the increase in tenure has caused a sharp jump in their AUM growth. Back to you. Okay. All right. Uh, Abhishek, thanks very much uh, for that. So interesting. 
first kind of uh, look at some of these uh, numbers which we'll start to get uh, very soon for the quarter. Now, uh, Upasana has uh, got details on Bharat Dynamics. She's standing by. Upasana, hi, morning. Good morning. Well, the company has reported a week of operational update. Now, talking about FI24 provisional numbers, the turnover is down almost about 5.6% at 2,350 crores. Well, the company says that the turnover was impacted mainly due to supply chains of the company were affected due to current geopolitical situation prevailing in Europe and Middle East. And also in terms of order book, they've given us an update that the order book position of the company as of 1st April 2024 stands at 19,468. Hence, I expect the stock to open in red today. Okay, all right, Vamakshi, thanks for that. Uh, uh, Opasana, thanks for that. Let's hop across to Vamakshi. Vamakshi, tell us about ABFRL. It's been a big underperformer, but they seem to be doing some course correction. Tell us more. Well, absolutely, Nigel. ABFRL and Focus, the board has authorized the management to evaluate the potential demerger of the company into two separately listed entities, the first one being Madura Fashion and Lifestyle Business. Now, keep in mind that this business has stable growth margins as well as is a cash generating business. It includes four lifestyle brands with the likes of Louis Philip, Van Heusen, Alan Soli, Peter England. It includes casual wear brands, Reebok, as well as the inner wear business. This particular segment accounts for nearly 60% of the company's revenue and nearly 75% of the company's EBITDA. The second entity, which will be housed under ABFRL, uh, it, in fact, will include the growth businesses. Uh, it will include pantaloons, ethnic portfolio, as well as the portfolio of digital first brands. All of these businesses are high growth with large addressable markets, but most of these are still in the investment phase. Largely, we should view this announcement positively, and that is because it will lead to creation of two listed companies. They will have independent growth engines, separate capital structures, and most importantly, they will also have parallel value creation opportunities. All ABAFRL shareholders will have identical shareholding in the newly uh, formed entity, and in fact, after the completion of the demerger, ABAFRL will also raise growth capital within the the next 12 months, which in turn will allow it to deleverage, uh, given that the net debt as on Q3 stood at almost 4,000 crores for the company. So definitely it's a positive announcement coming in for ABFRL. Expect the stock to open higher today. All right. Well, here's a quick recap of our top stocks. Stocks with positive news flow. There's TVS Motor, Reliance Industries, AB Fashion, CSB Bank, South Indian Bank and Irida. While stocks with negative news flow, there's Hero Motor Corp, Ashok Leyland, NMDC, and Bharat Dynamics. But let's also get a quick handle on what's happening in the world of commodities.